Now that's been our kitchen table for more than one and a half years and I think it's time for a change. After all pieces were cut, I prepared them for welding. A template that I made from an old piece of hardboard makes it easy to position all the pieces. With all of them clamped to the workbench, I welded them together. Before painting, I ground all the welds flat and rounded over all the sharp edges. I used car body filler to get everything perfectly smooth. After the frame was done, I bought a couple of oak slabs. Before being ready for glue up, these go a really long way.
And here they are, nice and flat. But the edges don't fit together well enough. To make them match up perfectly, I screwed a board underneath each of the ends to keep them securely in place. Then I used the circular saw and a straight edge to make a cut right through the joint. Basically the saw cuts both pieces at the same time. This ensures that all the pieces will match up perfectly, even if the saw is not set to perfect 90 degrees or some side wobble is introduced. For some reason I thought that I had cut into the steel top of my homemade table saw. Which didn't turn out to be the case. I created some biscuit slots just to keep the parts from sliding around during glue up. Then I decided that getting rid of those saw marks would be a good idea, and it certainly was. One of the pieces had a bit of a crack, but really I just needed an excuse to incorporate one of these cheesy bow tie thingies. And then I filled all the other defects with black filler paste. I marked and drilled the screw locations and I wanted to use threaded inserts and bolts to keep the tabletop in place. The inner bolts hold the tabletop in place and the outer ones allow for some shrinkage and expansion. After applying two coats of oil, we brought the table upstairs and assembled it. And it turned out that it was just a little bit too high for my girlfriend to comfortably sit at. So we brought it back into the workshop and I trenched out the areas where the frame would touch the top to make it sit about 3 cm lower. And that made a huge difference. In the end I didn't bolt the tabletop down at all, it just sits there, more or less securely. If it should start to warp, I will bolt it down eventually. <laughs> 